Now I invite Professor S. Ganesh, Deputy Director, to introduce our Chief Guest, Professor Patkarpati Chakravarti. <coughs> Indeed, it's my pleasure and uh, privilege to introduce Professor Partha Pradeep Chakravarti, chief guest of today's function. Um, I don't think uh, Professor Chakravarti needs any introduction to this audience. However, for the benefit of the students who are amongst us, I thought I would just give a brief about his achievements. Uh, Professor Chakravarti received his B.Tech and Ph.D degree from in, in computer science and engineering from the Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur, in 1985 and 1988, respectively. Soon after his PhD, he joined the faculty of the institute, very same institute, and he has been serving currently as a professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. He was the director of IIT Kharagpur for five years, since July 2013 to July 2019. He has published over 250 research papers and successfully completed several major research projects. His research uh, areas include AI, CAD in VLSI, embedded systems, algorithm design, reliable and fault tolerant systems, among the others that he has been working on. Professor Chakrabarti was conferred with several honors to just uh, uh, list a few. This includes uh, the President of India Gold Medal, the Swarnajanti Fellowship, the Shanti Swarup Patnagar Prize uh, for his academic achievements and uh, research accomplishment. He's a member of ACM and a senior member of IEEE. He's also an elected fellow of all the major science academies and engineering academies in the country. And with this very brief introduction, I request uh, Professor Chakravarti to address the gathering. Thank you. <laughs> Professor Abhay Karandikar, Professor Ganesh, Professor Chandra, distinguished award winners, members of the faculty, students, and staff. It, Professor Ganesh just mentioned that I completed my PhD in 1988 and joined the faculty of IIT Kharagpur. In between that, there is a small story. The story is that in 1988, Professor Rajiv Sangal sent me a letter inviting me to appear for faculty interview at IIT Kanpur. I came here along with my friend and colleague, Professor P. P. Das, who is also now my colleague at IIT Kharagpur. We landed, I reached the guest house. Professor Sangal, who was the head of the department, welcomed me. And as soon as we entered, during that time, there was a telegram, there was a phone call to the office of the director that P.P. Das's father had expired. So we decided to go back. And Professor Sangal said, we will make all arrangements for him to go back, but you stay and give the interview. Everything else is decided. But I decided to stay back, go back with him. And after I went back, before the next interview cycle of IIT Kanpur, IIT Kharagpur gave me the offer. Today's Teacher's Day, we celebrate it in the name of Professor Sarvepalli Radhakrishna. There are legendary stories. All these legendary inspiring stories are 99% false because they are colored, 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 colored over time. And one of the stories of Professor Sarvepalli Radhakrishna, which one of the distinguished awardees mentioned about the ethos of a teacher is like this. Once he was the Indian ambassador to the Soviet Union. So, and Stalin was the head of state. 
So during one meeting, he observed after some time Stalin was walking, Stalin was a bit little feeling. So Radhakrishnan put his hand around Stalin's shoulders and said, don't scold people like this. <laughs> Stalin started crying. He said, nobody ever in my life has talked to me like this. This is a teacher. We in the, the other thing that I saw today, I thought that I am intricately connected only to IIT Kharagpur. But when I saw just the award winners, forget about the other people in the audience, I have batchmate, I have my senior, I have a student among the award winners today. I have a student who attended my class and he reminded me when he went past me. I have a teacher's son. And I have so many of them who came just to receive this award. So, we are a very closed, very well-knit community. My linkages with, academic linkages with IIT Kanpur are not many, but two of them I cherish a lot. One of them is that during that time when there was millions of court cases in the joint entrance exam and I was the taking over as the director and the chairman of JAR. So during that time, just as it was going, so there were cases about these joint seat allocation algorithm, the JOSA algorithm that is there. And when I figured out what that algorithm will be, so we developed a team and among the team, Obviously, computer science, you need algorithms, you need IIT Kanpur. So I requested uh, the director and Surinder Baswana and his two students joined, along with IIT Bombay, Sharath and others. And uh, that, over a period of a month, we developed the JOSA algorithm with all the intricacies and against huge opposition because people in the IIT system said you are destroying the IIT system. But we stuck on, later on proved that it was much, much better than all the previous methods. But the most interesting part was when Suninder's two students as you can expect, IIT Kanpur BTEX, yes, implemented the algorithm and we transferred it. That algorithm for the whole of joint seat allocation ran in eight minutes. All their previous algorithms used to run over days and it was suboptimal. This was optimal, proved to be optimal. So we gave it to them and said, now you run it. The head of NIC came and told me, sir, algorithm samaj mein nahi aara. Result thik hai, lekin algorithm samaj mein nahi aara, hum isko implement nahi kar sakenge. So we had to develop a slower, easier to understand algorithm for them to implement. <laughs> and then we had these JOSA meetings, Professor Shalab knows that how to handle government, how to handle administration, and how to handle your home. <laughs> but those are all consultancy activities which I do with 30% overhead and service tax not to be given free. <laughs> As many of the very distinguished members have mentioned, we in the IIT system 
are not in the business of service. We are not offering education as a service. To us, education is product making. We are making products. As somebody said, we are shaping the students. A word was used, shaping. But the most interesting part of that product making, which I have analyzed over the last five, six years, and these analyses come at very nice times. These analyses come in Senate meetings when discussions are going on, very important, very animated, but you know it's, it will not end. So you, dis you think about all these <laughs> peculiar, peculiar things. And this shaping is very interesting. This shaping is not that you are shaping students. The way you shape students, the chisel also has the other edge. You shape yourself. So it is not that we are in the business of making products as students and others. We are also in the business of making ourselves as products to make better products. Whereas everywhere else, you see education in this country, it's almost become education as a service. But still, the IIT system, education is product making. And that, I think, is very, very critical to what we do. Now, if we look at the journey of a faculty in the IIT system, during these discussions in the Senate and all that, I formed these five, six stage of a faculty in the IIT system. The first stage I call the stage of utter confusion. Where have I come? What am I supposed to do? How will I fill my TA bill? <laughs> yeah, I went once to IIT Delhi by air. They said, come by air. When I looked at the table, it was written, Rail Road Camel. <laughs> so I told them what to do. They said, cut everything and write here. <laughs> and this is the state of every faculty who joins the IIT system. First few years, four years minimum, you are in a state of confusion. If I am to ask for leave, what should I do? What is the sure shot way to get promotion? Everybody will tell you something, but whenever you go to fill up a form, you will see what information you want to give and what the form asks are different. <laughs> and this goes for minimum four years. And your confusion reduces, reduces, but never gets over. And it will never get over till you retire. <laughs> then comes the 14 years of state of frustration. <laughs> During these first four years of confusion, you have now managed to understand how to set up your project, got your first PhD student, which is your second PhD actually, no? <laughs> Many first PhD student is your second PhD, third PhD, fourth PhD, <laughs> and so on and so forth. Then comes state of frustration. Whatever new thing you try to do, they will tell you it cannot be done. <laughs> Rules may not be done. They will tell you everything. But that is what you want to do. Because why you have come here, you have come here like he said, that you have come here from an industry where if your income was X, then your salary, if your salary there was X, then the salary Y at, as a faculty member is the income tax you were paying then. 
That is your salary now, so you don't care actually. You're going to get it done. So you start dribbling in the system. And you learn one golden rule in this system. The golden rule that you learn in the IIT system, and it is a, it is a like Newton's laws, it is a law. The law is, if you want to do something good, don't ask for permission. <laughs> it is easier to ask for forgiveness than for permission. <laughs> this is the time when you are shaping yourself. You are breaking the glass ceiling. Everybody will tell you, Desh ka kaam karo. Go to the village, etc., etc. But the real people who are in the system will say, no. Publish in nature, publish in science. Do academically top. After some time, your brain will not work. <laughs> so, this is the time when you are struggling, you are changing yourself, you are changing the system, you are building your labs, you are doing some of the best work of your life. And you are always frustrated. You are always frustrated. But your frustration is like the frustration at home. You know what is the frustration at home? The frustration at home is that your better half will always complain about you. <laughs> always. This is not done. That is not done. He doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. But if somebody else says that your husband doesn't do that, that person will get beaten up. <laughs> so your frustration is like this. You will complain about your institute, kuch nahi hoda. Bahar koi kuch bola about IIT Kanpur is going to get bashed up by you. <laughs> this is a very, very fruitful time. This is the time you set up your lab, quote unquote. This is the time you're in constant research, you're set. I have calculated if you spend in an older IIT, if you cross seven years, then either you love it so much that you don't go away, or you're so bad that you can, nobody else will take you. <laughs> and you can find out what is that optimal figure in IIT Kanpur. Kharagpur is seven years. <laughs> so after having crossed this uh, state of frustration, your lab is set, everything is good. You have more or less, your confusion is cleared. You have now understood the system. You know that in order to do this, what permission I need to take? It is not the same. If you want to do X, the permission that you require is one, you should take is Y. And by this time you have figured out. Isn't it true or not? Exactly you have figured out what permission you need to take. Okay. So now you are set and you have reached the third stage. This is the stage which even Professor Abhay Karandikar uh, explained to me today. It is the state of Jnani. <laughs> In your subject, you have become Jnani. <laughs> and you have started thinking that you are Jnani in other subjects also. <laughs> no, no, all of us go through this. All of us go through this. But this is your prime. And Professor Karandikar gave me a statement today that was written in his hostel in IIT Kanpur that yaha koi gyan na de, yaha sab koi gyani hai. <laughs> you know what is that place called? That place is called Institute Senate. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And now you become a jnani, and this is when you start deciding that interdisciplinary research is important. <laughs> and you build lab which brings in more than one person together from different disciplines. And wherever there has been a success in doing that, that has made a breakthrough. And people tend to then really start, you know, first you think you know everything, then you realize you don't know everything. And then you bring people together. Why you bring people together? You bring younger people together because you realize that you have become gyani and your brain is dying. <laughs> and the people who will do the work are in the state of confusion and frustration. <laughs> So you try to bring them together, give them freedom, protect them against the so-called institute. Huh. So institute will give some rule, you tell them, yari, go and do, we'll figure out what to do. Because by that time you have gained an importance, you have got some prizes, you have become professor, you know, a lot of garlands, Swarna Jayanti Fellowship, Santi Swarup, this, that, you know, these, these are all like your armor. What he knows, you don't care. But never what he mila hai. So you use your armor. You use your armor to tell the director, Thik hai, thik hai, karne na, main dekh raha And that is when you really build, start building. You see the history of some of the world-class interdisciplinary center, exactly this is the way it is developed. After this, you become a Brahma Gyani. <laughs> what are the signages of Brahma Gyani? See, I have crossed all these stages. <laughs> signages of Brahma Gyani is that you have now started becoming co-supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> and the other co-supervisor is either in confusion or frustration state. Never Gyani. You will see that your other co-supervisor is not a Brahma Gyani. They are all confusion, frustration. And the student will not come to you always. The student will come to you for two reasons. Either that supervisor has created trouble or by this time, since you have become a Brahma Jnani, you are able to see the subject from more than one angle that is written in a textbook. You are able to see the subject in many, many ways. And at that point in time, you gain insight. And you are really able to provide insight. That is the beauty of having reached this stage. Like one of the awardees mentioned, it is the students who do hard work. They look at everything, they come and tell you the truth. The senior teachers try to interpret it. But when you are in real, real trouble, then you go to a real Brahma Jnana. That person will tell you exactly where the problem is. This person can see the problem and it affects your teaching. And it affects your teaching. You can teach without anything. When you teach, when a Brahma Jnana teaches, the students are able to visualize. They don't need math. They don't need equations. And this, you know, if somebody asks you something, they create examples of their own, out of thin air, out of real life situations. This is when you have reached this stage. Then you become Dean, Professor in charge, deputy director, 
not head of the department. Head of the department is a tough job. Head of the department is a tough job every day, students, this one. But you become any of these. Then the, you, are, you define yourself that I am the institute. I will explain to Shalab what is statistics. I will tell him statistics, I saw her. I will explain electrical engineering to somebody. I will explain fluid dynamics to Gautamda. And you start explaining other people's subjects to them. <laughs> you start telling your institute, electrical, uh, civil engineer, rod wahan teen cha rod laga do. Without thinking. <laughs> One of my senior directors, eminent, very eminent, he had all the armor, Shanti Swarup, this, that. So I told him, sir, kaise chal raha hai? As a young faculty member, but you know, I told him, sir, kaise chal raha hai? He said, sab kuch toh raha hai, dousra subject toh janta nahi tha. Hum soch raha hai, janta hai. I am forget, I forgot in my own subject now. <laughs> so, during the years that you are a, I am the institute, state of authority, you have signing authority, permitting authority, financial authority. Why did you go by premium economy, not economy? <laughs> Why are you asking all this? But you will ask. And though you thoroughly enjoy all that, you will say, Kitna, I'm totally frustrated with that work. Everywhere you will go and say that. So this goes on. This goes on. And this can go on interminably. But once it completes, then you are in your last stage, my stage. It is called stage of hallucination. <laughs> In my time, institute used to be like that. When Professor Kelkar was there. <laughs> Do you know what happened at that time? <laughs> so that goes on. And then, if you are some weapon, weapon, armor, farmer, hai, to then you'll be called for leadership talks. <laughs> so this is the time when I decided, and I think it is good to decide, to become Lota Kambal. What is Lota Kambal? Lota Kambal is go back. You have nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Nokri to nahi chala jayega unless you do financial and you do molesting. Nokri nahi jayega. <laughs> So, <laughs> this is the time, real time, to become Lota Kambal. What is Lota Kambal? Go back to teaching and research. Become an assistant professor. <laughs> Getting bored. So, become an assistant professor. So, start teaching new courses. Think what is a new course that should be developed for the future of the institute. Start doing research, reading papers in newer areas. And I assure you, from my personal experience in the last three years, that this is very, very fulfilling. Only one thing you don't bother. Don't bother that you started something in your state of authority the new person who has become, I am the institute in some dean, deputy director, director is destroying it. You destroyed somebody else's. <laughs> they are Forget about it. Forget about it. Because please remember, the people who have mapped you 
in and out are the students. They know exactly how they will, you will react to what they say. They, if you try it, they will predict your question paper. <laughs> they will be 80% right. And if you do something else, they will come and shout at you. <laughs> One student failed. He came for supplementary. I gave him the question paper. He gave it back to me. <laughs> I said, what happened? He said, no, this is not, not supposed to come. Because I had given the handsome paper back again. <laughs> so he said, Aap dusra question do, jo question karna hai, waise karke balao. <laughs> the students are, mind you, the most intelligent people on the campus, the most hardworking people, and they know the world as it is going now. And they know exactly, if you can find out what state you are in, they will tell you. So during this whole process, we shape ourselves while we shape everybody else. The institute, as the four pillars and other things that were mentioned, is a very dynamic entity. At the end of this, during this journey, a part of the institute becomes part of you, which is fine. Everybody understands. But I have analyzed very well that the part of you becomes part of the institute. A little bit of you remains in the institute for a long, long time in many, many ways. What is needed, the IITs have really charted the foundation of education. And it is primarily due to these teachers, students, staff, that they have created this very unique environment, which is rightly called one of the best outcomes of free India. It has produced some of the best people. But what it still needs to do is become part of life of every Indian citizen. Somehow. That is why, as Gautamda mentioned, one of my motivations for starting the National Digital Library of India in a state of pure Brahmagyani, I am the institute structure of mine, was to make sure that every student knows about the IITs. And the advantage of doing all this, at the end of the day, without forsaking our core competence of advancing knowledge, without forsaking our core activity of shaping the future lives of future students, may I request that IIT Kanpur and the, at least the five older IITs come together, and I will request Abhay to take the lead in all these things is to drive something that is part of every Indian so that they can see an IIT in their life. That, I think, would be the next goal for a teacher. I am deeply honored to be here at IIT Kanpur. I was telling Professor Chandra that since I am now in that state of hallucination and assistant professor, I deny all invitations which intrude on my class, but I made this exception because this was an honor I could not refuse. I did not want to refuse. I really wanted to come and sit here. Thank you very much. And I wish all the awardees the very best. I wish IIT Kanpur the very best, and I wish everybody a happy Teacher's Day. Thank you very much.